Good morning, fire community. So I am here with the amazing Dr. Yu, just doing some uh, father-daughter time. Uh, still celebrating my birthday. Uh, just, just really having a really good conversation. We were just talking about seasons, the different, you know, we're, we're kind of in fall going into winter. So we were just kind of talking about the different seasons of life. What encouraging words do you have, Dr. Yu? All right. Um... We talk about the season. Actually, it coming out of the our dis, uh, discussion about the, what is the yes. calling, what is the purpose, right? So let's say we have a long journey, but in order to go there, we need to pass a certain seasons. I just want to say, just to enjoy the season and be faithful in the seasons. Sometimes you feel like, oh, maybe I'm off the track. I'm the wrong way, but because of the season, right? It's cold. It's too hot. However just to try to trust God and there's something God want to teach you and mold you and heal you. So just be faithful to the season and all season going through, you're going to raise what? Patience. You're going to raise what? Maturity. You're going to raise what? More trust. Those are more prime things to accomplish your goal and purpose. So hopefully you can be more faithful and like our Bible says, try to rejoice all the time, give thanks all the time, and try to pray. And instead of just on a self-thought, self-doubt, don't think too much, and just God knows where you are, and trust in Him, and keep going with the seasons of your life. Amen. Amen. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, I am so blessed to have Him as a spiritual daddy. Uh, so, just a reminder of our upcoming events uh, as we go in, well, come into November, uh, November 19th, we have our love event being hosted by First Lady Yolanda of Lawrence Memorial. That's actually going to be at her house. So I highly encourage you to come out to our last love event of the year. Don't forget our Christmas events with the Hemp Foundation. I just found out that with the Hemp Foundation, it's a family event. And we want you to bring the kiddos, your kiddos, uh, and... And they, they want to be able to provide an opportunity for them to shop. So I spoke with Michelle. Michelle's going to help me lead that and kind of be our hostess as I will be serving you ladies when you come out to the event um, and just putting a list together of who your kids want to shop for. That's going to be very important uh, during that event. And then December 10th is our, our Fire Revolution uh, holiday breakfast, our annual holiday bre breakfast uh, benefiting survivors of both human trafficking and domestic violence. Uh, enjoy Christmas and the new year. And I wanted to share <laughs> a little bit in January. We have a couple of events. Uh, January 21st, Rock Point Church in Queen Creek is doing a, a walk, stop traffic to uh, bring awareness to human trafficking. Uh, Central Christian is doing a uh, human trafficking awareness event earlier that day. I'll be at that. So that's January 21st. If you're free, come out. Uh, and then we, it's Michelle's birthday. I do not have a date yet. We're going to try to celebrate her birthday in some way. So be prepared for that. That's usually around the 11th of January. We'll do something. And then we are going to do one love event before the Super Bowl. I'm hoping it's going to be the first weekend in February because that's going to be a huge help to get those last gifts together. Um, tagging whatever we have going on and don't forget we're doing our big Super Bowl operation outreach uh, the 9th 10th and 11th so if you're interested in coming and helping us out with that or you know providing any in-kind gifts let us know other than that I hope happy Veterans Day the whole reason we were doing yes. this, this video today yes. was happy veterans thank you to all our veterans who have served us we love you Amen. we pray over you uh, and we will talk to you soon love you Bye. Bye.